How many times do you play Fortnite and half the server lags out? You wonder what happened to those people. Did they get booted out of the lobby and they're now in the pregame? Or are they on a different server altogether still playing? I found the answers to those very questions one night while I was playing Fortnite with my duo's friend, Alex. It was the typical winter break from high school. We had a few days left and New Year's was definitely soon. I'm pretty sure for that reason the servers on Fortnite have been pretty overloaded lately. It seems like every other game just about half the server lags out. There's probably a lot of people to support. Alex and myself took a break out of frustration. Fortnite was all kinda broken these days. An hour or so later, we got back on and played some more. The next few matches, everything went fine. Our fifth match though, that's when we got into it. Half the server lagged out again. This time, including Alex. I figured he would call me on Discord when he was ready, so I thought I would try to win the game or at least use it to get warmed up. I quickly noticed though that it seemed like every person who lagged out was on a completely different team. This was effectively a solos match. Still, it's not like Alex not to call me. I'm starting to get worried at this point. The circle comes in and I die pretty easily. I back down into the pregame lobby and I noticed that Alex was offline and it doesn't look like he'll be back on for the night. This was starting to get super strange. I heard my phone ring and I went to pick it up. It was Alex. Hello? Hello? All I could hear was him breathing. My phone started to blow up with reports that at least 40 Fortnite players died mid-match. Something happened to them. Which would mean about 10 others are left unaccounted for. Don't tell me Alex is one of them. I slowly go downstairs. I look through the little glass piece in the door. It looks like Alex, but he looks dead. His clothes look like he'd been buried for quite some time. That might explain his breathing. I looked out of the small glass opening again, and he was gone. I thought about the report that I got earlier on my phone. It said 40 dead, not 40 undead. I was next. I tried to run to the back of my house, but I was grabbed from behind. I saw Alex up close and he was for sure dead. Something happened, something that I can't explain. When they were all disconnected from the server, where they went, I, I don't know. If I kill you, I'll live again. I knew it was either him or me. I'm so sorry. I overpower him and I begin to choke him. I knew if I didn't kill him, he'd surely kill me. It was the longest few moments of my life. Naturally, when the police came, I was questioned. But the proof that it was self-defense was overwhelming. But that wasn't Alex, that was something else. Now whenever the server drops, I wonder where people go and I wonder if they're going through the horrible thing Alex went through. Something tells me that this is far from over.